Why Hillary Clinton should stay in the race? That's the subject of tonight's Talking Points memo. The Democratic Party should be worried because with each successive primary, we can see the growing divide in their electorate. Obama wins liberal Oregon by 18 points, but gets creamed by Hillary in conservative Kentucky. This, my friends, reveals a major vulnerability facing the Democrats in November. Obama lost big in states like Kentucky, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania because to the working class, he came off as aloof and out of touch. After Reverend Wright, Bittergate, and the tea with terrorist debate, more middle American voters see him as just another bi-coastal liberal like those who lost five of the last seven presidential elections. So for all of his talk of hope and change, Obama is really just the same old, same old for Democrats. But even if it's obvious that Hillary is the stronger candidate to go up against McCain, and despite growing evidence that Obama is out of step with mainstream America, the MoveOn.org types with the most influence in the Democratic Party, they don't care. They'd rather take their chances on the more left wing of the two candidates. Democrats really seem to be incapable of learning from history. Let's remember, the Democrats' superdelegate system today exists for a purpose. In 1972, the Democrats nominated George McGovern, the most liberal candidate, only to have him go on to lose in the second biggest landslide ever. Party officials installed these superdelegates to avoid similar disasters in the future. So that's the whole purpose of superdelegates, to veto the likes of the next George McGovern. And so far, Barack Obama has given Democrats every reason to worry he's too far to the left. So if superdelegates were actually living up to their stated duties, this race, race might already be over, and Hillary would be the nominee. That would be change we could believe in.